Yo, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning into the video today. And I'm gonna be taking a look at this clone two pack and from Ahsoka, the phase one clone trooper lieutenant and 332nd Ahsoka's clone trooper. And these are both on the updated 2023 clone body. I'll give this a quick spin so y'all can check out the box. And me and my wife were actually riding around this past weekend, just cruising around, enjoying the weekend. And I actually picked this up last Friday. She actually bought it for me. There was three on the shelf at Target and it was a little low on funds and we had just gotten some some starbies some starbucks just enjoying our weekend so i just ended up picking one and she ended up getting it for me so i'm extremely thankful for my wife i love her very much and super stoked to finally have this two-pack and started seeing a lot of people on the black series pages and stuff like that on facebook getting theirs and starting to pop up in targets all over the u.s and stuff so you know, roll out and check your local targets because they are starting to hit shelves. My wife even sent me a picture last week of a uh, a New Hope Vader and the new Galaxy updated Galaxy packaging. And I, I, unfortunately, I didn't get to text her back in time so she could snag it for me. She often goes to Target for her little lunch runs when she's at work or whatever, and she always walk down the toy aisle and take you know Facetime me and let me look at the Black Series stuff. So I really do appreciate her for that. But I really do dig this box. It's cool to see two packs making a comeback in Hasbro, especially the Black Series line. And, you know, they, there's other, like Marvel so, so Marvel Legends, they have Build-A-Figure lines and, and waves and stuff like that. But as far as the package goes, it looks really good. Um, I like the way that the figures and the accessories are laid out in the boxes. The box itself looks great. Really cool art for the 332nd and the Clone Trooper Lieutenant. It's basically... This is basically a 501st body, but it was a separate, basically, faction that Obi-Wan gave Anakin and Ahsoka permission. So, this is basically an extension of the 501st, is the th of the 332nd. And this one on the left is just a phase one, five oh, five, oh shit, hit the camera. Just a 501st grunt trooper, um, phase one, like I said. But I'm really excited and e extremely happy to finally have these in hand. Really wish I could have gotten more than just the one, but you know I'm still I'm still thankful, still grateful. But the the hunt shall continue. But let me quit babbling on and let me get these things out the box so we can take a closer look at the articulation, the sculpting details, and some of this some of this awesome paint. Here's a quick look at the clones out of the box. I'll get this quick little spin for y'all. And like I said earlier at the intro of this video, these, these are on the new 2023 clone buck, uh, clone mold. And I do have their helmets in from their respective figure. And it's just something about getting a new figure, got that, that new plastic smell. They got that new figure smell. It's just, I know that's a weird, you probably, a lot of y'all may not smell your figure. I know that's kind of weird, but this one hit me more so than opening other figures for some more that hit me more than usual for some reason so i know that may seem kind of weird but did have that new figure smell but i really love the blue this actually matches the 501st blue that like pretty much is the same shade for most of the line this is the correct 501st blue some of the other clones they there's a couple of variants of the clone the the jet trooper i believe the clone jet trooper for the battlefront 2 gaming greats version and one other version the the blue is a little bit lighter than it should be but these look really great. It's got like more of a darker blue to it. Still don't understand why they did the chipped paint on the blue and the rest of the armor is stark white, completely clean white, yet the, the paint, the blue paint is chipped. It doesn't really make sense. I would have liked to have seen um, a more uniform, clean paint job without the, the blue chipping. Or if they went with this route, it would have been nice to see like some weathering on the actual figures itself, but... Uh, if you're a fan of the Black Series, you know weathering. We, we've come a far away from washes and weathering, which I, I, let me not speak too much because the new Momon Nadon figure, that's that was that's on pre-order now. He actually has a wash, so maybe they're. All I'm saying is Hasbro's been cutting back on paint here lately a lot, um, but these figures look really good. I'm really excited to get a closer look at them, and let alone get them in in the diorama with the rest of the shelf and just get them set up with the display, but. Uh, let's take a closer look at the articulation and some of the sculpting details. And starting off here, I just figured we'd go ahead and get a look at the accessories. And here's the clone blaster, the DC-15A. Pretty common sculpt we've seen in the Black Series before. 
they're starting to stray away from that black plastic. This is cast in a, a kind of like a dark gray plastic. This is the DC-15 carbine rifle, blaster rifle, which is the shorter version. And here is the DC-15 blaster rifle, which technically you could refer to, you could reference both of these as a blaster rifle. It doesn't really matter. But, so we've seen both of these molds before and the weapons are practically the same for both the phase, both the phase one and the phase two. And just starting out here, I'll do a little side by side. This is the phase one clone trooper lieutenant. And the one with the stripe is the 332nd Ahsoka clone trooper. I'm just getting a view here at the face sculpt. They're, as they should be, they're practically identical. They are clones. Got the scars in the same place. Really good face sculpt. Looks just like Tamora Morrison. Pretty good photo real application. We got the, the hair looks pretty nice. Got some nice texture here on the hair. It looks really good. Like I said, just this blue looks fantastic too. This is the correct shade of blue. This looks like Revenge of the Sith in my opinion. But this is, looks like the the blue in Revenge of the Sith. So that's pretty nice. Getting back to the phase one here. And we'll take a look at his helmet. Forgot about the other accessories. Here's the phase one helmet. Looks really clean. The visor looks great. The blue is very nicely applied, especially on the fin up here. It has a little bit of bleeding right there, but a little bit of run. Not too bad, though. This side's pretty clean. The sculpt of the helmet looks great. Very nice proportions to it. And there is the black line above. So, there's the phase one. Now getting down to the articulation, let's take a look here. All right, so this is the 2023 mold and this is gonna be the same for both troopers. So I'm not gonna go over everything, but I do have the O-ring system here for these shoulder pads, which I'm a huge fan of. This allows for really good shoulder articulation and mobility. So you can spin those 360 degrees. They don't get bunched up at all. They move out the way. So you get a nice full T, about pretty much getting, you can almost get them into a Y if you really wanted to force it. Bring those back down. Look at the head tail, you can look up about that much. Look down a fair amount. Looks like a double neck peg in here. So probably got a like a, like a dumbbell ball or something like that. There's probably a ball at the base of the base of the neck and the base of the skull in here. Head spins 360 degrees. A little bit of head tilt, not a whole lot, really. And get to the elbow, they can bend slightly below 90 degrees there is bicep swivel as well on both arms and we got a, a vertical hinge on the right hand trigger finger and then on the left hand there's a horizontal hinge also a trigger finger as well this figure moves very nicely very smooth articulation the, oh, this elbow is a little tight but Getting down the ab crunch here, he can look down about that far. He can look back a fair amount. There's a little bit of side to side, which is always good. Helps you get some dynamic posing. And if you mess with the armor here, you can get a pretty good split. He can, if you, if you turn this leg here like that, he can kick out right in front of him. He's got a slot, not a not a lot of kickback, but he's got a little bit of kickback here. It's about as far back as it goes. That's about normal. Coach kickback. And feet go down that far. They go up this far. And of course there are rockers, ankle rockers, ankle swivel, whatever you'd like to call it. And with the with the new 2023 body, we do have these the floating knee pads so they're not glued so you can actually put it at the bottom of the, of the knee joint where it's supposed to be like if he was going to go into a crouch position it's actually on the bottom of his knee it's not like the old ones they have it they have the knee pads glued to the top of the thigh which is not so like then when you go to crouch it his knee pad is not even on his knee so really big fan of these floating knee pads 
Makes it a little more real and accurate. Oh, there's also knee swiveling here. Forgot to mention that. And no, basically thigh swivel from the, this armor point right here. That basically is the thigh swivel, the thigh, thigh cut. But yeah, really decent figure. And the same goes for, these are the same exact figures. So everything that goes for the other figure is basically, it, it, not basically is the same. It is the exact same. Um, but I really do like the paint job on this. This is the more classic 501st look. As you can see with the stripe going down, the phase one does not have the stripe. That was the, the early the early 501st phase one version does not have the stripe. The phase two does. Matter of fact, let me get to the phase two helmet here real quick. Correlating with the correct figure. And this looks really good too. I love the orange look. The proportions of the helmet look great. The grill piece. The little front like tendril pieces on the breathing apparatus. Black lines on the side, little vents right here look really good. The gray is very cleanly applied here. Nice gray cleanly applied right there too. But yeah, this orange looks really nice. Looks a, a lot, this, this one looks a lot better than the 2020 version. And I do not own that figure. He, he, the 2020 version of the three of Soka's 332nd is pretty pricey. Well, I'm talking about this helmet on them. Um, I don't think you can really get them for under like 70 bucks. So they are definitely up there on the aftermarket when it comes to a Soka's 332nd. But oh, dude, and with the helmet, <laughs> with the helmet on these guys, dude, look at that. That's freaking sick, man. These are great. The th I'm, I'm always fav favorable and a little biased for the Phase 2 clones because I just it's one of my favorite designs of armor in all of Star Wars. And it's just nostalgic because me and my brother grew up with the... I was even grew up with the OT as well, but the original trilogy, but the prequels was what we like. That, that was our time of Star Wars. So these look great, man. Get that. Try to get that. There we go. The paint looks really good. The new 2023 body articulation is, it is everything you would want in a newer action figure. And for the Black Series, oh, I also forgot to mention, these do have butterfly joints. They're kind of snuck in there under the armor. This this whole piece over top is an overlay. So that also helps for the shoulder articulation. But I don't know if you can see right in there, but there this does have butterflies. Which also is really good for lightsaber wielders and Blaster wielders because you can those butterfly joints help you be able to grip weapons with both hands or be able to um, shoulder a weapon or be able to pull it up to the eyes to actually look like they're aiming. But really happy to have these figures. It's a great, great two pack. One of the best army builders in the line, no doubt. And yeah, just super, super awesome figures, man. Great, great two pack. These guys look just the posing is very natural, very great, smooth articulation. It's not. It doesn't take long to get these guys set up into some cool, cool poses. It, it takes no time at all. And look at this, dude. This kneeling pose, being able to look down the sights, this just looks so natural. And it was it literally took me 10 seconds to get him in this pose. It didn't take me, it, the balance wasn't off. I didn't have to fidget with his arms over and over again. Like it was just so easy and enjoyable to put him into this pose. And it just looks freaking awesome. And I may even just leave him like this and throw him on my shelf just like this man like look at look at this i mean he's aiming pretty much right down let me pick this up real quick he's pretty much not not i probably could have i could probably get a little bit better but that's pretty damn good man being able to shoulder a weapon like look at that that looks awesome dude i can't lie the phase one design like the the helmets are pretty awesome and a little nerd out moment the the real reason why they even updated the, to the phase two armor was because the Kim Noans invented the phase one and the phase one armor was just not as comfortable for the clones because Kim and Owens don't know human anatomy like obviously like a human would you know obviously so they ended up kind of innovating this phase two cl clone armor and it was just a lot more comfortable uh, visibility was better for them but the only thing was the phase one armor actually had a life support system built into the suit. Phase two doesn't have that. 
But there is some things that the Phase 2 armor has that the Phase 1 doesn't. Um, like, I know the, the Phase 2 helmets are a little bit more upgraded. They can get into certain and in, more environments in the Phase 2 more than they can the Phase 1. But if they suffer a fatal wound, the Phase 1 armor is a little bit better because of the life support system that the Phase 2 does not have. But both are iconic designs, very essential to Star Wars. And the, like I keep saying, the new 2023 buck is for the clone troopers is just a wicked, wicked feat of engineering on Hasbro's part. Just the the figure just moves very well. It moves very naturally, like you would expect a, a human being to move. And the armor looks really good. It doesn't look like like if you ever seen the, the Death Trooper, it looks the legs look really skinny. It's just it's like you put the armor onto a a stand like this actually looks like a person underneath the armor it looks like somebody is wearing this armor but i'm just extremely pleased with how this these two figures turned out and it's not like i don't have them i do have the two uh i have the vanilla phase two clone troopers i have three of them and i i am in love with them i really hoping that to see them do more uh repaints on this this mold because the this articulation is just it's fantastic, man. Really, really wicked figures. Okay, I know I've been talking about these figures for a minute now. We're, the video's kind of getting up there. But these are, are two figures. I know they're the same, but there's just so much... There's so many good things to say about these figures. They're just... This is a great Armor Builder 2-pack. Hasbro really, really took a W with this one. Very, very big win for the Black Series. But here is the Phase 1 Clone Trooper Lieutenant and the 332nd next to General Obi-Wan Kenobi. And here they are next to the Count of Sereno, Count Dooku. Here's Padawan Ahsoka next to the Phase 1 and the Phase 2. And on the left here, one of my favorite figures in the entire line, and arguably, other than the 2020 Stormtrooper, this 2023 plain vanilla clone, in my opinion, other than this 2020 Stormtrooper, is the best army builder in the Black Series line, bar none. Point blank period, in my opinion, of course. Absolutely love this figure. And uh, you know I had to throw Commander Cody in the mix. Looks fantastic, man, these three together. And now standing in with the Phase 1 and the Phase 2, on the left I have Clone Commander Jesse, which in my opinion is one of the best photo real figures in the entire line. Looks just like Tamar Morrison, man. You can't tell me it doesn't. And for the last side by side, I figured I'd end it off with arguably the best army builder in the entire Black Series line, the 2020 Stormtrooper. All right, y'all, so that pretty much wraps up this review. Um, I've said pretty much everything good I could say about these figures. I am extremely happy with this two-pack, and I've been dying to do this review. Like I said, I, I was with my wife when we put this up this past Friday in, in Target, and been been really looking forward to getting to review this and getting them set up on my shelf. I was just I always look I have to leave them in box so I can get the beginning of my review while they're still in box. So Y'all can check out how it's laid out, all the accessories are in the package and stuff like that, and even the boxes. And in this case, the the two pack was just like look at this art, dude, on the side. That's just some fantastic art, man. It looks really cool. But it's really cool that two packs are making a comeback in the Black Series and um. Hell, we've been we, we've got a four pack now that that whole uh what is it the last command four pack with Luke and Ma Mara Jade and uh, Jorah Sabayoff and L Luke Evil Luke just really cool looking package. You don't know much about the characters or the EU or whatever, but um, before I get sidetracked, let me let me stay let me let me stay where I'm at. But I really do appreciate y'all checking out the the video today. Um, go check your targets. These are definitely hitting shelves along with a lot of the other wave figures in the wave and just absolutely awesome two back man can't wait to hopefully in the future i can pick up an, like one or two more of these i feel like they would look awesome on the shelf but if you enjoyed this review leave a like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it i do a lot of other action figure reviews mostly black series and star wars related content but uh yeah leave me a like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it hope you're all doing well hope you're having a good day or night whenever you're watching this and may the force be with you.